Hi guys, it's me again, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to solve problem 7.30 of Griffith's 4th edition. The problem reads, A long cable carries a current in one direction, uniformly distributed over its circular cross-section. The current returns along the surface, so that is, there is a very thin insulating sheath separating the currents. Find the self-inductance per unit length. Okay? So, if we're going to consider this cable, this is the section of your cable. So, this is your, let's say, that section. Okay? So, inside, one of uh, the current is going in this direction. Let's see. And then on the surface, it carries in the opposite direction. Okay? So this is a self-inducting uh, keyboard. Okay? So if we're going to choose uh, the section of the keyboard, and then uh, we want to know first the magnetic field that the uh, the conductor or the cable produces okay so here we're going to use Ampere's law and we're going to use this Amperian loop of radius S so we're going to use Ampere's law in integral form so that is expressed as the closed line integral of B dot DL would be equal to B times 2 pi S. And this is equal to I enclosed, oh sorry, I enclosed times mu naught. Okay, so this is mu naught times I enclose. Now, but what is I enclose? So this is your enclosed charge, uh, enclosed, uh, enclosed loop. So that means because uh, the current is uniformly distributed over its circular cross-section, so that means we just get the fraction of the current that passes through this Ampere loop. Okay, so how do we compute that? So the enclosed charge will just be a fraction of the radius squared over R squared. Because remember, this is your surface area. So we need to use a square of the radius times the current that we want to, uh, the current with uh, for the total, uh, the total current that is flowing through this cross section okay so substituting this here this becomes mu naught times s squared over r squared times i so substitute uh, equating this and this side we end up with b and that is equal to mu naught I S over 2 pi R squared. So this is the magnitude of the magnetic field. Of course, the direction would be P hat. But uh, if we want to know the self-inductance, remember that self-inductance is actually related to the stored energy in the magnetic field. So the stored energy in the magnetic field is equal to one half L I squared. Because we're looking for the self-inductance that's L, so we need to find the work, uh, the stored energy using a different approach. So the approach that we're going to use is this. So that's one over two mu naught times the integral of v squared times d tau for all space.
Okay? Because this magnetic field is only for the inside. So this, all, uh, this integral will only be uh, limited to what's inside. Okay? So let's do this. So this is now equal to 1 half mu naught times the square of the magnitude. So this is mu naught i s over 2 pi r squared squared theta. Okay, so simplifying this, we now have, uh, <coughs> excuse me, so this is uh, 1 over 2 mu naught times mu naught i over 2 pi r squared squared. times integral of s squared times d tau for your cylinder d tau would be uh, 2 pi s times l times ds okay so in this case our s will be from 0 to R. So this is from 0 to R. Okay, so this follows your cylindrical coordinate system. Now let's simplify this. So this becomes uh, of course 1 over 2 mu naught times mu naught squared i squared over 4 pi squared r to the fourth times 2 pi l then the integral of s cubed ds from 0 to r which is s to the fourth over 4 and then we evaluate from 0 to r which is just simply r to the fourth over 4 Okay, so this will now be equal to uh, mu naught will cancel and then 2 will cancel 1 of the pi's will cancel so we're now left with mu naught i squared times l divided by 4 pi r to the fourth times r to the fourth over 4 which is mu naught i squared l over 16 pi remember r to the fourth will cancel and we know that this is equal to 1 half L I squared. So here we're looking for self inductance per unit length. So let's call that script L. So self inductance per unit L. So from this equation, we now express self inductance per unit length to be equal to mu naught. That's mu naught. So L will be divided by 2. I squared will cancel. So 2 will cancel with this. This becomes 8. So this is mu naught over 8 pi. Okay? And you can notice that the self-inductance per unit length is uh, constant. And, as you will notice that, it's independent of R. And we already have a hint on that when we read our problem. We can notice that there is no mention of the radius of your net, of your cable. Okay, there's no mention about 
how much current do you have there's no mention of the section length small l or whatever okay so that's it that solves problem 7.30 of Griffin's fourth edition okay so i hope you learned something today and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye